standards are essential. Yes, they are, without doubt or dispute, especially in gaining and maintaining the proverbial competitive edge in the global marketplace. The Enterprise Jamaica Project, EDGE, has been launched in pursuit of globally accepted standards for our micro, small and medium enterprises, MSMEs. It really is part of an, an, an environment, an ecosystem, if you will, that we are building out um, in the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce. And it follows on the, the MSME um, entrepreneurial policy, which commits the government to find ways to deepen and strengthen the role for the MSME sector. The Enterprise Jamaica program really expect that at the end of the, the uh, mentorship period that we're going to be giving to individual um, members, our mentees, that they be able to go out there and launch their own business and uh, also utilize the experience of more established companies such as myself to um, avoid some of the pitfalls. EDGE represents the realization of the mandate of Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller and her administration to develop the MSME sector. It resulted in a fusion of two projects, the Virtual Incubator Project, VIP, providing mentorship for fledgling entities, and Eclipse for a performance enhancement of established businesses largely through workshops being staged. The program sees the collaboration of some 12 organizations, among them JAMPRO, the JBDC, JIPO, and the Bureau of Standards as coordinator. A synergy pivotal to all that's been pursued as joined up governance in maximizing the gains for this critical sector. We know, for example, that the more technologies utilized in bigger businesses, the fewer employment there is. The bulk of the employment of any country um, is driven through the small, medium, and even micro enterprises. So this is an, an attempt to address um, some of the practical needs of government to grow the economy and to generate, generate employment and wealth. You have to be globally competitive. You have to comply with international standards, regardless of what business you are in. This is the 21st century. You cannot do things any old way anymore, right? Labeling, packaging, certificates of origin, these are things that every business person has to face. So standards are crucial. We have to do things differently and we have to think of best practice. In other words, in other words we have to strive to be the best in everything that we do. When you're in business, it's almost like playing chess. You have to understand all the, the pieces that are out there, all the possibilities and be able to come to that right decision. You have to make more right decision or correct decision, a wrong decision in order to be successful. I believe that the project will assist me with completing the research through getting guidance from a qualified and suitable mentor <laughs> that um, will take this idea from the stage it's at now to an actual product which I can put on the shelf. The mentorship program, I think, on, on, the, on the basis of a young entrepreneur coming up with, with products, doing manufacturing, I think the mentorship program is a wonderful opportunity for us as young entrepreneurs because basically it gives us a wide range of, of products and how the manufacturing process goes about. It's an engaging story of young entrepreneurs being guided and the emphasis of raising the bar, particularly in the high-tech and creative industries, in achieving this edge young people coming up, whether they be entrepreneurs or people in high school, anybody wanting to start a business, I think mentorship and mentoring is definitely the way to go. The best way to learn is from those who've been through it, been through the fire, learn from their mistakes, and if they can save you from making a couple of mistakes yourself, then you're both definitely on your way to being a success. You have more to learn and more to gain by having some sort of global focus, by, but still leveraging your own, you know, leveraging your own local resources. But you definitely should turn your, I guess, your aim and focus outward if you can. Using bamboo leaves in chicken feed produces 70% more weight than those chickens fed on 
a standard diet. So when I did my own trials here using Bambusa vulgaris, our local bamboo, I discovered that using it to feed pigs actually produced uh, more growth, faster growth rate, and in just four weeks of trial, the farmer was, had reduced his, his feed intake by 50%. The Edge Project, through the bamboo, using, utilizing the bamboo project as an example, will demonstrate the critical skill sets that are needed and the role for government at the early stage of the intervention and also through the Eclipse program to strengthen existing businesses. The steps being taken for this transformation exercise highlight nurturing. All business need nurturing, need incubation, if especially if they are new um, uh, business. But fledgling business, business that have existed, need to also do, to improve themselves. And how do you improve yourself? You improve yourselves by innovation, you improve yourself by creativity, but most importantly, you have to improve yourself by improving your standards. If you want to be a world-class company, you definitely have to go through the rigors of implementing certain systems within your organization. And so you have to move from stage to stage. And such steps about the technological strides we make for all that's opportune from developments such as the logistics hub are also about our very conviction. They have to believe in what they're doing. That's really the key. They, must, they themselves must believe in what they're doing. First word, status for Jamaica in 2030. That's the development vision. Some people are skeptical. There's no reason to be. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't fly. The sky's the limit for what's entirely transformative in securing our edge.